Well, welcome back everyone to Open Day Live. Um, I hope you enjoyed the last session with our Executive Vice President, Lee Burns, um, talking to our alumni. Um, I just wanted to mention that if you've missed some of the sessions up until this point, um, you will be able to watch it at the end of the day. It'll stay up on Facebook, so you can go back through and catch up on what you may have missed. Um, but right now, we are so lucky and blessed huh. to have with us some of our incredible um, creative stream oversights. Um, right? Yeah. I love them all. <laughs> and you will also really come to love them when you guys come. <laughs> so let me introduce them to you. We have Craig, who's in charge of our production stream. Yep, welcome. Yeah, good, yeah. mate. <laughs> yeah, that's right. okay. yeah, yeah, so much for production. <laughs> <laughs> we have Caleb, who looks after our film and TV stream. He's mm -hmm. incredible. We have Katie Dodson, who yes, looks after our worship stream Hello. here at the Hills Campus. And then we have Aaron Puddle, who Hello. is just the creative director extraordinaire who looks after so many things to do with our creative streams across all of our campuses um, at Hillsong College and is just a favorite amongst all of our students and alumni so Thank, thanks for getting the money that i gave you to say that yeah that's, awesome. no, that's fine <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. thank, out you. Details. thank you so good. much um so welcome guys thanks, thanks so much for being here i'm really excited um for you all to hear about what we actually offer um creatively here at hillsong because obviously hillsong church is so known for its creativity and its innovation especially in music and dance and tv and production um and so when you come, you're learning from people who are actually doing it, who are doing it within Hillsong Church um, and are at the top of their field. So we're super excited to let you know more about it. Um, so the streams that are offered here at Hillsong College in the creative pathway, creative streams, um, we have our worship music stream, our production stream, our TV and film, TV and media, film and TV, film and TV, film and, TV. Yep. Film and, TV. <laughs> <laughs> and our dance stream. Um, so we're going to get each of these guys to just speak to that a little bit so you can know what's expected um, and what it's going to be like when you arrive. So let's start with worship. Come on, somebody. Why there wouldn't you? you? Yeah, you right? Go. Why <laughs> wouldn't you? Worship Katie, would you tell us what um, first year, second year, third year kind of looks mm. like, the experience um, practically mm. and in the theoretical and classroom? Yeah, right. So in our first year program, um, it's really cool because all of our learning is very team focused. Um, we want you to grow individually as a leader, as a person, and also in your skill sets. Mm -hmm. And so in our first year, first semester, the worship program, you can focus in three key areas of skills in a worship team. So musicians, vocals, um, and songwriters. Awesome. And then what's really cool is that you're growing yourself in your first year and your skill set, and then you bring it into the context of a worship team environment in the second semester and actually learning how to rehearse together and, and to bring a level of excellence to the platform yeah. in a yeah. church context, which is amazing. Yeah. And then in second year, we step it up in terms of your leadership, mm. um, your musicianship, your preparation, um, as well as your songwriting abilities for the church. And I've got some great elective options in our second year program as well which is really cool. And then our third year program, we're beginning to release subjects around studio, um, so skills around um, studios such as session artists and such, but as well as creative pastor, you know, to bring a dynamic generation of creative leaders, not just great in creativity, but can, who can lead, pastor, and disciple people effectively. That's awesome. So that's great. That's so you mentioned uh, electives. Mm. Um, so can you just talk us through the subjects that our worship students get to actually take because mm. I know there are questions about do I take the same as a pastoral stream do I get the same biblical leadership training as everybody mm. else yeah. um, being in the worship stream can you speak to that at all yeah definitely you get core biblical um, training in the new testament and the old testament um, in the diploma diploma program you actually get to take classes like pastoral care which is really effective in learning how to work and just help people um, as well as in the elective option, you can choose classes like marriage and family, um, which is part Everyone's of our pastoral favorite, course. Hey? Yeah, yeah, they love, love it. Class. Everyone's like, I want to get married. Yes, yes you yes, will. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you take this course, you will. <laughs> <laughs> now we have um, marriage and family, um, as well as preaching with Pastor Robert, which yeah. is fantastic. So we're not just communicating as musicians, singers, and songwriters. We actually can communicate to people effectively mm -hmm. in how we engage in speaking and leading teams. So I think that's great. Really cool. And it's a really uh, big strength of the, the course is that once you come and you actually apply to be in the creative streams, you do have the opportunity to take some classes such as 
um, public speaking or preaching. As well as the worship electives, which is music arrangement and producing, and church and music, and looking yeah. at how we can actually, this has been our past use of sound and music in the church, but what's going to be the next thing? And that's what you can be a part of. That's so exciting. Thanks for that. Yeah. Um, Caleb, would yeah. you like to talk us through what t- film and TV yes. <laughs> look like? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So the film and television stream within Hillsong College is offered in our Cert Four and our Diploma program. Um, it kind of takes you through really the intros into the world of being in the film and television industry. So our subjects are based around screenwriting, cinematography, editing, awesome. Uh, studio camera as well, so kind of learning how to operate in studio camera type environments. Really, our heart is to see you as an individual grow in your character, your leadership, but also your skills in a technical realm so So that when you go into the industry, you're somebody that people actually want to hire and work with because you've got the Mm -hmm. character to be able to carry you through that next season of life and Mm -hmm. and share the stories that God's really put on your heart. So So our heart is to see you grow in the technical skills and in your character along the way as well. Mm Um, very, very practical, hands-on kind of learning as well. So all of our, it's not very theoretical in the types of things that we do. So it's very technical. Um, our workshops and classes are things like making this happen. Some of our studio camera students are here helping make this happen today. Woo-hoo! Yeah. Yeah. So amazing, amazing opportunities that our students get to be able to be part of the life of Hillsong Church and Hillsong College and the variety yeah. of creative projects yeah. and things like that we do. Yeah. So good. I love that. Craig, would you talk to us about the production stream? Certainly. Um, Similar to what Caleb said, production is very much hands-on, very, very, if you like, industry-based in terms of the skill set we're trying to give you. We want you to be able to grow inside your church environment but inside your skill set as well so that you move out into industry if you choose, Mm -hmm. being valuable but taking that ministry outside potentially of just the church environment, if you Mm -hmm. like. Um, We want to see your technical skills grow as, as Caleb said and I think you know film and, and media or TV or whatever we'll call it <laughs> um, ties in very very much with the production students again we've got production students here handling audio for this shoot um, but we want to grow that into yeah. technical skills to make you useful invaluable and indeed a blessing whether you're into in your uh, you know serving in a church environment or whether you're working out inside industry itself so um, good Mm. Where the the course goes, the first year we work heavily in in a live sound environment, primarily focusing on that, Um, building your skills inside monitoring areas, inside front of house, Mm. inside technical skills and understanding the way the systems are put together. Mm. When we hit second year, we push you into a studio environment. So we actually get you recording, we get you editing, mixing and developing production skills so you're not... um, if you like, not focused in one specific area, but we can make you broader and make, you know, train you up to be more, more. I was going to say useful, but certainly more skilled across the whole, yeah. whole sort yeah, of production good. stream. Excellent. We focus on audio. I should say that um, there are opportunities to serve in other areas such as lighting and so on, but that is a service, more of a service area rather than straight um, actual training. We work pro- focus primarily in audio. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you've said to me in the past, actually, about the opportunities our students have um, to mix at conferences yes. or mm-hmm. um, in chapels or in mm-hmm. church services and just the calibre that that is and the yeah. industry standard that, that they actually get to be involved with. Do you have anything else that you wanted to add to that? Or? <sighs> yeah, we've got students crawling all over conference, all over, um, all over sort of a lot of the church environment. We've got yeah. guys serving mm-hmm. every mm-hmm. weekend whether it's in broadcast, whether it's at front of house, mm. whether it's at, at, in monitors, yeah. stage teching, there's yeah. all sorts of things. In some of the um, largest venues in Sydney. Yeah, absolutely. Um, especially a conference, look, yeah. Look, I, I came from industry before I came here um, and I've had guys in other places that I've taught and I've worked that would see something like conference once or twice in their career. Our students are on potentially nine conferences across the three years that they, they study. Crazy. So, so cool. you know, it's huge. What an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I yeah, you, you can't, I don't think you can beat it, to be yeah. perfectly honest. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, definitely. Caleb, would you be able yeah. to talk to us about um, how our creative streams connect together and how yeah. students from every single stream um, combine to outwork their skills in chapel or just in classroom sure. activities? Yeah. I think because of the nature of the way our courses are set up and them being so practical, hands-on type courses, that there's a lot that can kind of be fed into the different streams 
when it comes to projects that our students are working on, be that yeah. for assessments or for things that are part of our college life, like chapel or like conferences and mm -hmm. things like that, where production students are working alongside of TV students when it comes to helping record audio and mixing sound and those sorts of things. We're mm -hmm. working with our worship students and our dance students on creating media and things for mm -hmm. social media, for our conferences, um, performances, yeah. like there's yeah. all sorts of things that are happening yeah. quite regularly throughout yeah. the, our calendar. And I guess the students working together in creating that kind of media and that content, be it dance, worship performances that the TV students are filming, that then our production students are helping with audio. We're all kind of working together on a lot of those types of things. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of that comes together in chapels, be that through creative out moments, things that we do through uh, when we do chapel, the college experience, doing through channel recordings or live streaming events, those sorts of yeah. things. There's opportunities for our students to be working together in some of those areas and really get to be part of the family that is college creative. Yeah, That's I awesome. love that. So cool. yeah. Excuse right. me. While you're studying in one stream, you actually are collaborating and learning skills in yeah. mm. across every yeah. stream, yeah. Yeah. Um, which I think is such an incredible experience. Yeah. Um, and it's now really we good. also have a dance stream. Mm. Um, and Aaron, mm. while you're not the head of dance, I'm uh, sure you dance move. can <laughs> dance. I have no. seen, I have seen <laughs> yeah. a dance move yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. um, in the, the absence of our head dance trainer who wasn't able to make it, are yeah. you able to yeah, tell sure. a little bit about that experience? Yeah, it'd be great. From a first hand experience? Yes, from first hand experience. <laughs> um, our, our dance stream seeks to uh, really do two things. Uh, firstly, uh, and it's got similarities to what Craig and Caleb has shared, that um, we, we believe that um, God has given actually all people the ability to move and express what's in their heart in a, a physical um, outworking. I was going to use the word manifestation, but that could be used in a whole variety of contexts that we're not oh, talking about. So, yeah, that's, that's true. Come on. Um, but the, uh, yeah, we, we truly believe that um, dance with in the church is a gift from God, mm -hmm. firstly. Um, we believe that dance in the church actually should not be solely measured by what the world says that and about dance and the way that it should be measured so what I mean by that is we absolutely want our students to be able to come here and learn how to dance better we want them to be able to learn how to come here uh, sorry to come here and learn how to um, be able to choreograph um, well and strong mm -hmm. and, and in a variety of ways we want them to be able to come and if their church so desires it to be able to uh, lead a team of dancers within their church be it through their youth ministry which mm -hmm. is often a great way that so um, that brings young people into churches is through the creative arts and mm -hmm. through um, you know the opportunity to yeah. dance yeah. Um, I remember um, years ago in a church that I pastored one of the greatest evangelism opportunities we had was through the dance ministry of the so church so we believe in that strongly. Um, and at the same time as Craig and Caleb said, we would hope that should our students want to go into the dance industry in the world, that they would not only be able to lead the way in terms of their technical skill, but they would also be able to lead the way um, in terms of who they are as people. Yeah. Um, and as a result of being disciples of Christ and followers yeah. of Jesus, which is the combination in college of their core classes, their tutorial classes, partnering with their dance stream classes mm -hmm. that they would be um, an example of who, what, who Jesus is and what he's like in an industry yeah. that when it comes to being measured in the world is absolutely based of your look, your image, your technical um, skill, one above another, who you know, who you don't know. Yeah. Um, and whilst all those things are a reality in the industry, they're also not kingdom. And mm -hmm. so um, it can actually be a really challenging environment. And so we would hope that our dancers would be raised, equipped, empowered and released to either in the church or in the world um, be like Jesus and be excellent at what they bring. So good. So good. So. Um, thanks for that. I love that explanation of our dance stream. And I just wanted to also mention that our dancers um, and our worship students, um, I know we briefly mentioned our production and our film and TV students get to be involved in conferences, but so do our um, dance students and our worship mm -hmm. students. So mm -hmm. the experience that you're getting is not just one that's around the local church, but it's actually involved in a global scale yeah. within our conferences. Oh, and yeah. um, and it's really upskilling you and giving you incredible opportunity um, to use your skills and to use what God's given yeah, you so to bless yeah. others mm -hmm. um, and to really grow um, 
in the gifts and talents that God's actually given you. So yeah, right. it's it's an incredible environment with which to grow and learn in. Mm. Um, incredible, yeah. So actually on that, our students, when they come, aren't just in Hillsong College, but Hillsong College sits right at the heart of Hillsong Church. Yeah. So Aaron, I'd love to hear from you um, about the creative community at Hillsong Church um, and how our college creative actually gets to be involved um, with that. Mm, that's great. Um, our creative stream students, in essence, are kind of right in the center of two departments within the yeah. life of the church. And those departments are obviously Hillsong College and also Hillsong Creative. Mm -hmm. And so um, our we, we say to our students, our brand new students when they first come, that um, when you come, you have you are now one of us. And so you have joined Hillsong Creative. You, you are now one of us. Um, yeah. You are part of the family as much as perhaps anybody that maybe you have seen on a, a, a YouTube worship clip from one of the Hillsong wor uh, worship expressions, be it Hillsong Worship, Hillsong United, Hillsong Young and Free, or perhaps a, a short film or something that you've seen that's come out of the life of Hillsong Church, mm. you are now as much a part of our team as yeah. any of those people that you may have seen. 100%. And um, the day-to-day -day living alongside people who God is using by His grace um, in our church and from our church to change the world um, for His glory, is such an incredible uh, reality yeah. and opportunity for our student body. I think actually if, uh, for any of you who were in chapel with us today, um, Katie was leading the worship and Katie um, leads worship as does Rachel um, mm. in our weekend services across the life of our church. And standing next to Katie was one of our third year students, yeah. Jordan, um, who came through our worship music stream is now yeah. in third year. He time flies. I remember when he arrived. Yeah, same. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> yep, yep. He's, Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> he, he's in third year and he um, is in classes yeah. day to day, week to week. And then when he leaves class, he'll often be working alongside Gabe Kelly, who is um, our New South Wales creative oversight uh, mm -hmm. here in Australia. And that, that's pretty incredible opportunity that Jordan gets to apply what he's learning in the classroom straight away in real life ministry yeah. setting. I know yeah, we've talked cool. about that before, but on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. again, this is not every student's experience and neither does it actually have to be for your experience to be what God designed for it to be, but we have Jordan, who's leading, um, you know, one of the praise and worship songs at Sunday night at the Hills campus um, or Hills location. Mm -hmm. And again, it's wonderful to see that the model of study that we have here, partnering with, uh, uh, working alongside um, men and women of God, um, d discipleship, study and discipleship yeah. together to produce a result that actually is exceeding and abundant beyond what many of the students think their experience could ever be um, mm -hmm. by coming to study here at Hillsong College. Yeah, so yeah. Hillsong Creative is not an additional part of a Creative Stream student's experience. It's right yeah. in the center. It's Hunting. absolutely vital. And, yeah, and I yeah. can say, just like that Hillsong College would not exist without Hillsong Church, our Creative Streams were birthed out of our Hillsong Creative yeah. team. Mm -hmm. And so Ka uh, Cassandra and Richard Langton, who lead our team, um, you know, we're so grateful to them um, to be part of, uh, we are the college expression of our church creative team. I love that. Something else that I really love is, as you mentioned, we have um, incredible um, responsibility and authority as a church to release incredible music um, around the world. And a lot of the people involved in those bands in Hillsong Worship, Hillsong United, Hillsong Young and Free are also pastoral staff or involved mm. in our church mm. and work here and, and are so actually intentional about discipling our students mm. and, they're, and they're passionate about it and being able to teach what they do on a daily basis here as pastoral yeah. staff yeah. or as songwriters, as producers, what they do on like their day to day yeah. um, and actually empowering the next generation. Um, so as you mentioned, it's not separate. It's not them and us. It's, it's, it's the us. local it's church yeah, right. raising, raising our students to yeah. Yeah. just together, doing yeah. life together. And it's, it's such an incredible picture of the church. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love yeah, it. it. I love it. Um, so there's a question. Um, do we only learn Hillsong creativity? Well, yep. Or can this be applied elsewhere? Mm. So what you, yeah. what you learn in the classroom, is it specifically Hillsong yeah. or is it, can it be actually applied across the global church? Mm. Yeah. 
I can answer that from a film and TV perspective at least. And that the things that we're learning in the classroom environment, while you're learning it within the environment of Hillsong Church, the the equipment that we have to work with, the spaces that we're working within are some of the best that are in for our industry across Australia. Um, Be that television studios, the equipment that we've got, things like that is is absolutely top notch. So Mm. the experiences, the things that you're working with are the same types of things that you would find, if not better than in many industry locations, um, Mm. if you were to leave here, as well as the skills that you're that you're learning mm. many times are being taught by not only Hillsong staff, but people from the industry who this is their day-to-day life is working as, as contractors, f- freelancing in different departments, things like that. So you're learning from people who this is their daily life as well, working in the industry. Yeah. So you're getting information that's yeah. current and applicable to yeah. the day after you'd leave college. Yeah, I, yeah. Really cool. I, I think on that too, what I'd, I'd throw in with that is that the technical skills are the technical skills. We're yeah, right. not doing anything different yeah. here that necessarily would, you know, a microphone is a microphone or a camera. Yeah. We're not using it differently or any anything other than expressing the creativity. Yeah. So I certainly see it as, as, as my duty and I'm, I'm sure the other guys do too, that we're teaching you technical skills. We're teaching yeah. you the technical skills to express your creativity, mm-hmm. yeah. which mm-hmm. opens up a whole bunch of possibilities, not just, if you like, the Hillsong way mm-hmm. of doing things. We yeah. do things, but we do things in a way that expresses your creativity, expresses the creativity of our God, yeah. which yeah. I think is critical yeah. 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 because we are made as creative yeah. creative beings. Yeah. So oh, good, that's good. And the around, technical skills just support that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So same in the worship stream. You're mm. learning technical skills around songwriting, around yeah. singing, around you know, playing your instrument, but we're also, you know, you're learning principles. You're yeah. learning principles of how to build a team. And mm-hmm. you might leave here, and a principle is something that can be applied anywhere. The pattern and the practice yeah. might change, but the principle stays the same. And so we aim to really Very impart cool. principle. You'll mm-hmm. see and be a part of and learn our pattern and our practice of mm-hmm. that principle, but we want you to carry that principle so that you can be world-class wherever yeah. you go. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Did you yeah. have anything you wanted to add on that? Um, I'll, I'll take a, um, a phrase I use in the classroom a little bit, which the answer to the question would be yes and no. Um, I love it when he says that. <laughs> as, in, as in people are desiring to come to Hillsong because there is something about us that people go, we desire that or we desire something similar to that or we want to know where that came from. Mm -hmm. So in many respects, we are unashamed in saying this is the way that we do these things or this Mm -hmm. is the way that we live out these things. Mm -hmm. And by you being immersed in our culture, Um, immersed in our environment, you are going to get immersed in the Hillsong way of living life, the Hillsong way of building the kingdom. Um, And and that may sound exclusive, but because it's anything but exclusive, our Hillsong conference, you know, we exist to champion the cause of local churches everywhere. And I think that can be applied to what we present and what we teach creatively within college as well. That um, as Katie said, there are principles that can work anywhere and everywhere. Um, the outworking of how that looks in your church or environment or even your definition of excellence will be something that varies depending on where you go. Yeah. So here at Hillsong, you'll absolutely learn we have some definitions of excellence that mm-hmm. may look different to where you've come from. You can learn from those. They can add to what you've already known. We were just saying to our students at our chapel debrief, we said, you know, bring, the, bring your past um, you know, bring the great things you've learned in your past, partner it with your present, and that's what helps create a new future. Love that. So. Well, we've just got a couple minutes left. We've got a few questions from um, our audience. Um, one from Celia. Um, Katie, I'll get you to answer this one. What practical opportunities are available during college for you to practice your gift, especially if you play an instrument, mm. um, like playing in church, small groups, youth, etc.? Mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, So in the worship music stream, um, if you come and study in the musician focus, um, you'll have weekly workshops where you play with other band members um, two hours a week in the class with the trainer. But we have facilities here at the Hills campus where you can practice your instrument um, according to whatever gaps you have in in your schedule. Um, So that's from a course perspective. 
Um, but there's also opportunities. You know, a lot of our students are actually playing at locations mm -hmm. across Hillsong Church yeah. um, because it's not just the Hills and City campus. How many locations are we up to now in Australia? 30. Oh, there's a lot, lot of them. <laughs> 31. <laughs> there's 30. a lot. So it's really cool because it's the partnership of the classroom with, you know, real world building the church yeah. Yeah. and so our students get a very wide range of opportunity in their life at Hillsong College. So cool and mm. um, we have a question from Ashley. Uh, what does a typical day look like for a student in the TV slash film stream, yeah. film and TV stream yeah, as you were, <laughs> and production stream um, and she also said also about the city but um, the film and TV stream and production streams aren't actually offered at the city campus, um, so they're just offered at the Hills campus. But if you can briefly tell us what a typical day looks like for a film sure. and TV student. Yeah, sure. Look, from a production point of view, obviously as you study there's a range of subjects. It's not just your audio subjects. There's going to be other, as Katie mentioned before, biblical subjects and core subjects that you'll do. Mm. If I was to pick on a straight production day, it will range the way the timetable is structured at the moment you will come in, you will do your production subjects during the day. That could put you in the studio if you're in second year where it's very hands-on. We did a workshop last week, for example, setting up drum kit, miking drum kits, looking at different microphone techniques, looking at different sounds coming out of the kit and so on. So it's very much a hands-on day. That was a, a pretty much a full day. In the middle of the day, that's broken up with a chapel service um, or potentially mm -hmm. Hillsong Men or Sisterhood, depending on what day of the week it is. Yeah. Um, but again, for some of the guys that were in that class, they then finished our morning class. They went, they'd served that chapel. So mm -hmm. uh, one of the guys was mixing, a couple of guys were on monitors and so on. So they were all over that chapel service as well, mm -hmm. then back into more class for the afternoon. Um, so that, on, right? It's very hands-on. Yeah. One, <laughs> one of the things that I was going to say before, one of the things that I think is unique about what we do here is there is so much opportunity yeah. practically to be serving um, mm. other places I've taught. Students have got to go and find their own opportunities, mm. if you like. So one of the things mm. that is, is very big here is there is so much happening that there is so much opportunity and yeah. you're, you're spoilt for choice. So great. And you know. Kevin? TV is very much the same as Craig mentioned. The, the opportunities are really endless for TV students and the yeah. things that they can get involved with. The day-to-day -day life looks like being in workshops, be that through cinematography, screenwriting, producing, directing, editing, like a variety of different kind of hands-on workshops. So depending on what the schedule for that particular day looks like, you'd be in any one of those types of classes in addition to the Bible and the core theology and leadership classes that all of our students take. Um, so it's a variety of those types of classes. After hours, many times students can be found in our edit suites or a variety of our Mac labs that we've got on campus involved in shoots that are happening, be that for college related, for their college practicum, kind of practicing the things that they're learning in their yeah. workshops. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so it's very hands-on in getting opportunities really around the clock, be it through that, just be it through, like Craig mentioned, in chapel services, in other opportunities. Um, Really, yeah, anywhere, there's, there's countless options. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, so we actually opened our epicenter um, early last year, I think. Um, and it's changed the game for us, for our creative streams. Mm -hmm. So the epicenter is on our Hills campus, and we actually have a college wing um, in the centre that has band workshop rooms where our students can book rooms out and actually practice together as a team. Um, we have practice rooms, um, individual practice rooms with pianos that you can book out for our yeah. songwriters, for our musicians, our singers yeah. to go and actually practice and hone your craft. And then we also have um, our very own TV studio, which is where we're sitting right now, which is incredible. <laughs> um, and then we're also working on our own recording studi studio um, and having that available for our students in all creative streams actually to work on their producing and their recording. Yeah. Um, so it's an industry standard mm -hmm. um, in our creative streams that you'll get to be a part of. So we're going to have to wrap things up, but thank you so much for joining us and thanks guys for being able to be yeah, here and being a part of it. You're such yeah. a blessing Yay. to our college and we're yeah. lucky to have you. Um, if you want to stick around, we have our higher education session starting Very in cool. about 30 minutes. So if you're interested in degree or master's um, or what that could look like after you've done our vocational training, um, make sure you stick around and join us. I um, mean, if you have any questions, jump on Facebook, um, write it down. Our team is ready and waiting to answer any questions that you might have. But thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon. Yay. See ya.